Mr. Radcliffe. Hey, Chairman. Um, Ms. Cooper, based on the new emails that you mentioned in your opening and then subsequent uh, declarations by some of my Democratic colleagues uh, that those emails were evidence that the Ukrainians were aware of a military hold on July 25th, there's now reporting out there saying that Pentagon official reveals Ukrainians asked about stalled security aid. Um, it's, it's being widely reported that uh, Ukraine asked about the hold on military aid on July 25th. That's not what I heard from you. Is that correct? Sir, my exact words were that one email said that the Ukrainian embassy and the House Foreign Affairs Committee are asking about security assistance. 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 Not hold. And then the second email was the Hill knows about the FMF situation to an extent, and so does the Ukrainian embassy. Those are the exact words. And what do security assistance and FMF situation in these emails mean? I don't want to speculate on what it means. Right. They don't necessarily mean hold, correct? Not necessarily. And isn't it true that around the same time, OMB put a hold on 15 State Department and USAID accounts, including FMF? I don't know that specific detail. But you can't say one way or another whether the inquiries in these emails were about the hold. Is that fair? I cannot say for certain. All right. And you can't say one way or another whether the Ukrainians knew about the hold before August 28, 2019, when it was reported in Politico, correct? Sir, I can just tell you that it's the recollection of my staff that they likely knew, but no, I do not have a certain data point to offer you. Well, it's not unusual, is it, um, Ms. Cooper, for uh, foreign countries to inquire about foreign aid that they're expecting from the United States, is it? Sir, in my experience with the Ukrainians, they typically would call about specific things, not just generally checking in on their assistance package. 